Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Still very high value into picks like Jax. Uh, but it does mean that the Sandbox comp is very reliant on either uh, finding an angle um, or hitting charm, setting up picks. So if you lose opportunity right now for Pioshik. They should know they're vulnerable here. Gotta go for it. The flash comes in and then Kyle might be in a lot of trouble. He is the sacrifice and flash used by Prince as well. Kyle. Trying to flash, trying to delay as much time as possible as now he will go down. First blood to Piochik. As in goes Krako now looking for the Here comes a trade in the top side. The needles will basically all land. King in burning down and now he's not going to be able to get into this one as Krako eating a bunch of damage, but it's a Poppy and a Nautilus. So he really doesn't seem to care, but they're definitely locked into this one as Krako Tries to get over the wall, and now we got a 2v2 on the bottom side. Prince here trying to kite it out. Barrel incredibly low as Prince now. Keep going. He's going to be running him down, and not much that Piusha can do from this one as he's just going to be a menace. How can he keep getting away with this as the Qs are finally coming in, and Deft is chasing a Lulu. It's not going to get anything for him. As he even used in that dove. So let's try and get some poke, but from that range, King has no issue getting out as well. <laughs> Not nice again, roll. Dove! Not the bottom! Oh, he got it this time, at least, but he's got a wild growth. But there are four members of DRX chasing him down as he's going to be pulled in, and that'll be the end of the Scorpion himself. As Zekka, the one to pick up that kill pretty large, is now the first dragon to go down at 15 minutes into the game. Oh, there's Ignite here uh -oh, for Dove. Oh, Dove, I feel like maybe he could have gone for that one, or at least forced the flash, but instead just gonna Ignite and push him away. Ian sticking around if he can get this counter strike. Field here from Death, this Krako, he doesn't care. Yeah, he's looking for anyone as the stun comes in, gonna save that Impale for now. As Dove, now he's got a really nice lane for these needles to stack up, they're chasing down Piosik. They're not going to kill anyone. They do zone him away. Kingen's like, just, he's in his own lane, just doing his own thing. And he will take out a turret by himself, meanwhile. A little underwhelming from Sandbox there. Croco flashing, doesn't get anything. Does have Hex Flash. Well, they're going to see him. Uh, he's right here. He's going to find a free Neela. I mean, what? they saw, they saw the Scorpion. They knew he was there. That's the equivalent of you, you see a Scorpion. to tell us that. We don't need an Australian. No one should have to tell you that. It's pretty basic information. As, um, yeah, uh, that, that started off pretty lackluster for Sandbox because they actually lose out hugely on that trade, right? They make Flash. a play. Which, not sure about that, as unfortunately it looks like, okay, Apotheosis does come out here and a really nice knockaway of both Croco and Dub. Kosik finally getting value on that ultimate. Needles are being used. They were used earlier on, trying to now get over the wall. That is some really nice value, but the soldiers of Zekka doing a good job of zoning them away. As Dove now, waiting for this one. Still no Impale has been used. The Predator popped. But Closer's not here. As the <laughs> He is going to TP back in, though, and now we've got a front line for the Zeri. The Impale finally comes out. As Piotrzyk is getting low, in they go now. It's a huge sweep! Oh! Zekka turns the fight immediately, just like that. Able to sweep three of the in. And Kringen on the jacks is going to love this broken down play. As he's looking for Kyle, he might be able to get him. Closer can't do much this low. And finally, DRX, they make a showing in this series. Baron. And oh, I, oh, DRX, no, DRX, that was good. Pardon. Even though King <laughs> bought a whole bringer. I want to get into that a little bit later, but this is not the way, this is not the play. Yeah, they're taking a bunch of damage too as they're trying to hit the front line, but it is a Gwen as Closer now is kind of caught here between a rock and a hard place. That's against Wild Growth as now Prince is going to be shoved into the back line trying to get away. And look at the front line here. Krako just trying to zone for his team, but he cannot. Zekka is too strong. In this game now, he's got five kills. It's Krako trying to 1v1 the Nila. And will they go back to Baron? Really trying to force this one. I think they can. I think they should be able to. Deft. Yep, yep, they <laughs> sense it. Axe flashing over, but they don't have the... They don't, oh, wait, the health bars are really low. They'll yep. see this now. They're going to see it. Look at the amount of pings on that mini-map. As in goes Krako. He's trying to smite it, and he's too early. And Poppy Pioshik is going to be very pick. close spot. And the fact. Oh my god, that was 144. Yeah. Yep. Very, very close. And now, um, 
Prince going to go for a uh, Lord Doms here. Um, it look is looking like at least before he's going to be able to finish his IE. So I don't I don't think we're getting there. I think that the DRX going to turn this into at the very least a four game series. It's looking pretty likely. I mean the. Azir might end up just giving so much more than the Zeri can before the Zeri can is now again gonna be baited into this impale and knock away from Pilsik. Everybody teleports into the fight. They heard a party was going on. At the end of the day, though, the only one who's partying is DRX. The Skarner finding zero value in this game. Yeah, as a Prince, uh, he won't die, um, but he doesn't have a good time at all. And yeah, overall, uh, playing Skarner from behind, very bad experience. This overdraft already felt a little bit finicky for Sandbox. And they try to play it like the way they've done before, and it's just not working. DRX is punishing them splendidly. Well, let's see how this one is going to end, because we're getting a another charge, this time into an inhibitor. Find. Getting Poppy or uh, Barrel doesn't find very good either. And DRX have really been able to make great use of the sandbox killer instinct which looks great when they're ahead but also explains why often buying that before saving everything for just an ie it's it's looking extremely rough in for uh, for sandbox they are clearly gonna all in on this fight here on the baron not wanting to give that needs to match him as deft oh. <laughs> who finds who? Uh, it's Death finding Krako, who's level 12. As he's going to be Apotheosis, and uh, now he's just being chased through the jungle. Should be the end of the Live Sandbox jungler. As yes, he is very fast and Scorpion-like, but that is not going to help him very much. As now with no Krako, this means that a pretty easy and free Baron should go to DRX. Although they might try to fight it anyway. It will be very, uh, very, very left sandbox of them. Looks like it might be okay. Got a polymorph and a ton of damage, but that is going to be the knockaway. And uh, <laughs> the depth charge does come out as well here. Now trying to catch King in, but it is a fed jack. So, been able yep. able to uh, crucially like cripple the base. Um, teleport comes in, and uh, they will be able to pick themselves up a soul point soon. As Croco gonna try again. Not, Not spotted. spotted. Here. Yeah. And Skarner is one of those picks, kind of like Blitzcrank, you know, you get that one pick, let's see how it goes, or sometimes you just die. Uh... <laughs> yep, yeah, again, gonna look pretty silly, but you can you can imagine. He's trying to go for the risky play, he's trying to go for the risky flank, because there's the charm onto Kingen, but looks like he probably has enough tenacity to handle that. TP now coming in, as the push will commence here from DRX. They still have Baron for a minute 15. That should be more than enough time to break two inhibitors here. Yeah, I'm gonna go on the limp and say, I don't think Sandbox has the, the, the damage available to take down DRX here. DRX looking to extend this series, Valdez. Looking pretty likely. DRX taking this very slowly, although Barrel is posturing aggressively, looking for that hook. Broncos back. Um, they're still very much respecting this area. Uh, but this might be the time to fight the Zeri before the IE is Ah, uh, Klaus, there you go. Elder Soul would be... Uh, <laughs> the that's in League of Legends, too. Yeah, that's in the, that's in the MMO. Yeah, uh, something like that. Elder is on the way. Uh, Prince is extravaganza of uh, Ws and... Um, <laughs> I mean, they have so much defensive itemization, right? Like, that's yeah. just Banshees, they have double Zonias, they have a GA. Deft also hit the free item power spike. Has his uh, QSS as well, like it just doesn't seem possible. Sando Beam not even doing that much damage at this point in time, and Prince oh. has hit his Infinity Edge. It's just uh, not not quite. Triple inhib. Yeah. Well, it is triple inhib, as now looking for the play. The charm comes in, but that's on the Nautilus. Is the front line here. It's actually pretty good for the side of Live Sandbox, but Depth Charge is good enough, and they knock away the Zeri! What if you have a Zeri in its bed, but it just doesn't exist? That is the case here, as Prince, though, is trying to hold on alone as the flash comes in. He is kiting it out. They're not able to take him out just yet. King in with the flash on in with the counter strike, as he's going to zap down Pilsik. you got to be kidding me, as Wait. Prince. Still trying to hold on to this one, but I don't think they have enough time, nor the damage. Prince will be taken out by the extremely mem fed members of DRX. And that will do it for game three. DRX will keep themselves alive.